Today I want to talk about something that I noticed when I quit drinking. Rewind to 2018. We moved out of Oregon and started a new life in Idaho. With that came people mad at us, questioning our decision, and not liking it. It ruined a lot of relationships, friendships that were, I mean, at least 10 years old. It ruined those. People just could not understand why we were moving and we got a lot of hate for it, a lot of backlash. And to this day, like, we still don't talk to some of those people, all because we wanted to change our life and do better for our children. Key, our children and ourselves. And if we would have never moved to Idaho, a lot of things would still just be the same. And that's when it comes to sobriety, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people don't want to be around you anymore. They're intimidated by you not drinking, especially if that was all you did. It's just a hard pill to swallow that people can't support you for bettering yourself any way, shape, or form. And that's fine. They don't have to live your life. If they don't want to be friends with you because you moved to a different state, if they don't want to be friends with you because you're on a health journey, if they don't want to be friends with you because you decided to quit drinking, that's on them. That's completely fine. Do I miss some of these friendships? Um, maybe, but did they actually bring value to my life? I mean, I miss my best friend back home. That's about it when it comes to friendships. And it's just, it's amazing to me that people judge you, whether you're bad or good. And I know a lot of you probably get annoyed with me dwelling on the past, but me bringing my past to surface actually helps other people. And a lot of you resonate with me and it's been a journey. It has been a journey. And I'm not thrilled with how I've reacted to some things, but that's fine. Moving on how I was when I was drunk, I was way worse. I was not proud of many moments in my life and I have definitely excelled in life and brought value to my children. My children watch us. Children watch you. People watch you. People watch you when you're failing. People watch you when you're succeeding. But more times they are just going to dwell on the bad things that you have done, not necessarily the good things. So when we decided to move out of state, it was, when we decided to move out of state, it was a big, big step for us. And it was scary. <laughs> it was terrifying actually. You're moving to a place that you, we only knew a couple of people, didn't have jobs, had little kids, and we were starting over. So the day that we decided to do 75 hard was terrifying. It was scary. Did not know what to expect. Were we going to fail? Just like I didn't know if we were going to fail moving to Idaho. Were people going to ever accept us for moving? Were all relationships going to die i don't know it's the unknown that is scary so what i'm trying to say is if you want better for yourself it's going to be scary it's not going to be easy you don't know what's going to actually happen if you decide to tell the world that you're going to quit drinking or tell your friends and family that you're done drinking you have to be bold about it you have to be honest about it and you have to let people support you. Just like when we moved, 
I had to reach out to people. I had to open up to new people. I had to accept change. Just like when I decided to quit drinking, I had to accept the change that was going to come around me. I mean, I've always been into health and fitness. That's no new news. Not fake news either, but alcohol held me back. Move, moving from Oregon, if we didn't do that, would have held us back. We wouldn't be entrepreneurs. I mean, my husband was had a business back home, but now he's happier doing what he's doing. I have made new friends that I would have been stuck in the same rut if we didn't move. Just like if I didn't quit drinking alcohol, I would have been stuck in the same exact rut as well. It's not, it's not something that you want for your life. You want to be open to change. You want to be open to exploring. You want to be open to exploring new things. And if you can move out of a state away from people that you've only known for the last 32 years, your family and friends, and change your whole entire life, and then fast forward six years later decide to quit drinking, I don't think I would have ever quit drinking if I would have stayed in Morgan. Not gonna lie. When you grow up doing the same thing over and over, you're still in the same environment, you're not going to change. Change comes when you put yourself first and when you decide to take charge of your life and do things against the grain. People don't like that. People aren't comfortable with you getting, with you changing. But change doesn't come with being comfortable. I'm just saying there are big steps in life and if you want a better life, look at what's around you. Look what you're doing and are you doing things that are going to better your life or are you just stuck in the same pattern over and over and over and it's never going to get better. Put a list together of the pros and cons of how your life is right now and then the pros and cons of what your life could be if you did change. I'm not saying you have to change your personality. I'm not saying you have to change who your family is. I'm just saying who is supporting you? Are these good people? Are they uplifting you? Are they dragging you down? What are they doing? Finding who you are in this life is not easy. Not easy at all. And when we go home to visit, when we go home to visit, I see my family and I see my best friend. She has been pretty much my sister from 19 or 20 years old and that'll never change. But was she sad when I moved? <laughs> Hell yeah, she cried. She sent me a picture of her puffy eyes and that was probably one of the hardest people I had to leave. But when I go back, she still lives her life the way she lives her life and nothing changes between me and her just because I quit drinking and I moved away. Find those types of people in your life Find the ones that will be with you through everything, thick and thin, change, positive change, negative change. Don't just find fair weathered people. It's not, it's not going to do you any good. And I just have to say, this is an absolutely gorgeous park that I found, but I wouldn't have explored. And when I lived in Oregon, I didn't explore things like I do here. 
I didn't go to church like I do here. I just literally lived the same pattern over and over and over and it was doing nothing. Just like drinking. Maybe I sound like a broken record right now, but drinking did not do anything for me. It held me back. It didn't let me see my full potential. I have goals. And some of you that follow my uh, posts on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or wherever you follow me, um, I have meal plans coming out. I have a detox program coming out. I have an e-course coming out to help people quit drinking. I have goals. And would I have done these if I hadn't quit drinking? No. I would not have been where I am if I was still sh shoving alcohol down my body, into my brain, ruining all potential. I have clarity. I'm present. I have more energy. I want to do things. Do things still scare me? Yeah. Does social anxiety still hit me? Oh, heck yeah. Do I still like question, should I do that? Because I don't want to be in that position. Yes, I still question myself every day. Am I good enough? Did I make the right decision? But positive change is never a bad decision. Just know that. If it has, if you have to move out of your parents' house, out of their basement to better your life, you should probably do that. If you're buying a bottle of wine or six pack of beer or a bottle of whiskey, every night on your way home you should probably evaluate your life i love watching you guys grow i love hearing your sober stories and i just want you to know that change is hard but change is possible change is uncomfortable and nobody likes being uncomfortable but when you push through the hard just know that it does get easier. Drinking alcohol is not going to make your life easier. It's just gonna make your life harder. So do me a favor, and if you haven't quit drinking, I would love for you to just try it for 30 days. So please stay tuned for other big things that are coming, and please like and subscribe and share my content. It really helps get the word out.